Hey guys, welcome to Axe Grinder UK and welcome to Lick of the Week. This is Lick of the Week 17 and this week we're going to take a look at a concept used by players like Eddie Van Halen and Dimebag Daryl, which is symmetrical fingering patterns where you don't stick with one scale shape or formula, you just take one pattern and run that pattern across the neck in whichever sort of sequence you've come up with to make a really cool and interesting sounding lick. And this week we're going to look at a symmetrical shape that's loosely based in the key of E or E minor. So without further ado, let's get into breaking down that lick. Okay then guys, let me uh, start off by showing you the basic fingering pattern that we're going to use throughout this lick. And like I said, this idea of using symmetrical fingerings and patterns was used by players like Dimebag and Eddie Van Halen. So we're going to start at the 10th fret on the low E string with the first finger. And then the 12th fret. And then we're going to stretch out to the 15th fret. So there's a little bit of a stretch but it shouldn't be too bad. So you've got 10, 12, 15. And that is basically the, the fingering pattern and shape you're gonna use throughout this lick. So we're just gonna move that across all six strings. So it'd be like this. All we're gonna do next is add a seven note legato sequence to this fingering pattern. And that would sound like this slowly. And all I'm doing there is picking 10, hammering on to 12, hammering on to 15, pulling off to 12, pulling off to 10, then hammering on back to 10, hammering on back to 15. So you get this. And that's your seven note sequence. The thing we do next to make it sound a little bit more interesting than going across straight across all six strings is we add in some string skipping. So we're going to play this lick on the low E to begin with. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to skip a string. We're skipping the A string and go straight to the D string. So remember, it's the same fingering on the same frets. We're just going to apply the same sequence. We're just skipping the A string. So it would be like this on the D string. So, so far we have this. And then we go back, we jump back to the A string and start the sequence again. So that's the same sequence, same frets, 10, 12, 15. And then we jump the D string, go to the G string. And then come back to the D string, same sequence. And then you guessed it, we jump the G string, go to the B string, same sequence, same frets. Back to the G string, same sequence, same frets. And then we skip over to the high E string. And once we get to the high E string, we then just slide up to the 17th fret on the B to the E note. So if I do that slowly, you should get something like this. And that's one way to use symmetrical fingering patterns in your rock and metal soloing. All right then guys, that was Lick of the Week 17. A simple symmetrical fingering to learn, add in some string skipping, throw in some hammer ons and pull offs and you got yourself a cool sounding lick. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll be back next Friday with another Lick of the Week for you guys to learn. And until then, my name's Lee, and this is Axe Grinder UK. Yeah.